After a long diplomatic effort by Kyiv and Ukraine's international partners, Germany agreed to compromises. Berlin allowed other countries to supply Ukraine with German Leopard tanks of various modifications. In the first stage, Germany itself will provide Kyiv with a company of 14 Leopard 2A6 tanks which are operated by the Bundeswehr. Other European partners in turn will provide Leopard 2 tanks. The goal is to form two battalions very quickly in two phases. In the first phase, we will create a battalion with brand new, rapidly deployable and ammunition-equipped Leopard 2A6 tanks together with our partners. In the second phase, but it will take a little longer, the second battalion will also be created with the inclusion of other stocks. This is a diplomatic victory for Ukraine and the collective West, because we probably could not have done it alone. Given the position of our partners, the United States of America and before that Poland, who said they would even supply German-made tanks without a German agreement, so understandably Mr. Scholz was in a very uncomfortable situation. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry has already reacted to the supply of tanks and hinted that this is not the last package of military assistance to Ukraine from Western partners. 120 hours after Rammstein 8, we have approval for Leopards. A Leopard coalition with partners worked. Indeed, Leopards look good on Ukraine. Thank you very much to Olaf Scholz, my colleague Boris Pistorius, German people and everyone who supported us. More to come. Glory to Ukraine. Oleksiy Reznikov, Minister of Defense of Ukraine on Twitter. Modern tanks Abrams, Leopards, infantry fighting vehicles Bradley, Marder, armored personal carrier Striker, Bulldog are what will help the armed forces of Ukraine to liberate settlements occupied by the Russian army. Experts estimate that at least 150 units of weapons will be accumulated at the first stage. 14 tanks are provided by Great Britain. These are Challenger 2 tanks. It is said that Poland provides at least a tank company, 14 Leopard 2A4 tanks. Germany has already announced that it provides at least a tank company of Leopard A26 tanks. Today we are already hearing statements from several countries. Some are providing 4 vehicles, some are providing 6. And the Netherlands is ready to buy 18 Leopard two tanks which they have on lease. The Leopard 2 tank is autonomous at a distance of about 500 km and has a top speed of 68 km per hour. Leopard 2 is equipped with a 120 mm smoothbore gun. It is the most widely used heavy armored vehicle in Europe and the tank is in service in over a dozen countries. Although Russia has the largest arsenal of tanks, their quality is several times lower than that of European models. Experts assure that in this case quantity cannot overcome quality. We can see that already the degradation of the production of tanks and sites in Russia leads to a significant deterioration in the quality of equipment that comes to replace the disabled. So the Leopard 2A4 tanks are the level above which Russia will no longer rise. I think that in the next few days we will hear that they have already snapped or shot off dozens of leopards they destroy for HIMARS every day. Besides propaganda, of course, the reaction will be, as we again foresaw, we warn citizens of the Russian Federation that now they will start to close borders and conduct mass mobilization. During the 11 month of a full-scale invasion, the Russian army lost more than 3,000 tanks in Ukraine. The best modifications – T-90M, T-90A, T-72B3 – are increasingly difficult for the Russian military industry to repair because of sanctions. Reported by Roman Smoller, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.